we will now discuss salivary glands which are the last part of our buccal cavity. In buccal cavity we talk about palate, we have discussed that, tongue, teeth. So all these things are done, so we are left with only the salivary glands. Salivary glands are the ones which are going to produce saliva and we have three pairs of salivary glands. We need to understand their location and what kind of secretion they release or secrete. So let us make a simple diagram to understand the location of these salivary glands. So there are three uh, pairs. We are seeing the glands from one side. Here is the tongue. So the first pair, which is the largest pair, is known as parotid salivary gland. And it is present just underneath our ear lobe. So here, just underneath this ear lobe, there is a large salivary gland. This is the largest salivary gland. And that is the first one. So, this is called parotid salivary gland. This is just below ear lobe. It is the largest salivary gland and its secretion mainly contains water. contains water, enzyme, the enzyme is called salivary amylase, it helps in digestion of starch. There is another name for this enzyme and that is stylin. It also secretes Another enzyme which is called lysozyme. This lysozyme kills bacteria. It kills bacteria. Such substances are called bactericidal which kill or they cause rupturing of these bacteria. I am sure you have seen animals licking their body or licking the wounds. If they get hurt, if there is some kind of a wound, they keep licking on this. And why do they do this? Suppose we get some kind of a cut or some kind of a wound. What do we do? We use Dettol, we use Savlon. This is to kill the bacteria so that our in the injury or that wound does not catch any infection. Same thing, if lysozyme is spread on it, that means nature has given us that Dettol type of substance in our saliva. See, why go to animals? We also do the same thing. Suppose accidentally we get pricked by a pin or we get a paper cut. What is the first spontaneous reaction? We put our finger in our mouth and this is our body's defense mechanism. We also want to apply lysozyme on that cut so that there is no infection. And this lysozyme is secreted from this parotid salivary gland. So this is the largest salivary gland out of the three and its secretion contains water, enzymes and lysozyme. This gland is active whenever enzymes are to be secreted. And when do we need enzyme? When we have to digest something. That means when we eat something or when we smell some good food. Sometimes we pass by a good, you know, food joint. We smell something good and we say that I have watery mouth. So why does our buccal cavity, our mouth become watery? Because there is water and enzymes. This is in anticipation that now you are going to eat something. Some food is going to come in the buccal cavity. So, why not secrete the enzyme in advance? So, we get watery mouth. 
So whenever we have watery mouth, it is this gland which is pouring its secretion. So there is a duct which is going to pour the secretion from it. So this is our parotid salivary gland. The second one is known as submaxillary or submandibular gland. It is medium sized. This was the largest, the parotid one. This is the medium sized. And where is it located? It is located at the jaw angle. The lower jaw, here it bends. So just at the angle, here is our second gland. This is submandibular or submaxillary salivary gland. It also pours its secretion by a duct. Its secretion mainly contains mucus. Mucus is mainly present because of this. Mucus is going to make our food soft. We will uh, take the functions. And now let us come to the third one. The third gland, the third salivary gland is just beneath the tongue. So it is here and this is the smallest. And it pours its secretion just beneath the tongue. This is known as sublingual. This gland is called sublingual gland. It is the smallest of the three salivary glands. Location is below the tongue. And its secretion is also mucus. So in all there are three pairs. So two below the ear lobes. Then two at the jaw angle and two below the tongue. This is how we have three pairs of salivary glands. The secretion of all three together is known as saliva. So what is the composition? What all things are present in our saliva? Our saliva has water. Our saliva has mucus. Saliva has enzyme. That is salivary amylase. This salivary amylase is going to help in digestion of carbohydrate that is starch. Helps in digestion of starch. And it also contains lysozyme. Plus, there are some chloride ions also. These chloride ions are going to activate this enzyme. So this is what is found in our saliva. Now you must have seen these players on the field, the cricket players. And you must have seen them spitting on the ground. And we feel bad why are they doing this. When they are on the field, they are running. And many a times, you know, the mouth is open, so water evaporates. And obviously, they are not smelling any food. They are not seeing any food. So, this gland is not active. So, the two glands which are active are the submaxillary and sublingual. And their secretion is only mucus. And imagine if from that mucus water evaporates, mucus becomes thick. And it is very irritating to swallow that thick mucus. So what is the best thing is you spit it out. And whenever we get watery mouth, it is because of the parotid salivary gland. So there are three pairs. Now what is the function of saliva? Function is or functions are saliva moistens the food because of the mucus. Starts digestion of starch because of the enzyme and it kills bacteria. 
So, if our food contains some kind of microorganism, some bacteria, then lysozyme is going to kill those bacteria. So, kill bacteria. So, these are the three main functions of saliva. This mucus which is present also helps in lubricating. So, that when you swallow it, it goes smoothly through our elementary canal. These are the three. We have seen these three glands from one side. So, same structure is going to be on the other side. So, we have three pairs of salivary gland. Largest is parotid and the smallest is sublingual. Now, there is one interesting thing. In snakes, the parotid salivary gland or their salivary glands are modified into poison glands. So, in snakes, salivary glands or gland is modified into poison gland. So, the venom they release is actually coming from a gland and that is a modified salivary gland. So, this is an interesting thing that that also is a salivary gland. Our saliva is helpful and their secretion contains a venom or a poison. So, now we have completed all the parts which are present in our buccal cavity. In the next part, now we will start discussing the other parts that is esophagus, stomach, intestine and other structures.